So there I was at Christmas. My older brother calls me into his room and says, Hey, I bought this off of a surplus discount website for 40 bucks, and it has a few problems. I hear you fix things. I said, Sure, sure, no problem. Um, so he got a couple chargers with it, one good battery, one bad battery. This one, you pull the trigger and it makes the sound as if it's spinning, but this doesn't spin. And this one, the chuck, is locked in the fully retracted position. Uh, so, we're going to fix these three problems. Stay tuned. Fixed. There's your problem. I should not be able to keep that from turning. See the fans moving. Fans moving, but this isn't. It just looks like this is pressed on. And not all that tightly. Okay, so I think I see where the problem is. The press fit of this gear to this shaft is quite anemic, um, and that is our problem. Okay, so this is our problem, child. How can we fix it is the next question. Lock tight, super glue, rough up the shaft. We have a super simple plan. We have we need to press this back onto the shaft with a little bit of glue on it, uh, and I need to. That's probably going to take a little bit of force since uh, I scratched up that shaft a little bit to give us a, the glue something to bite into. Uh, I got a piece of metal here that the shaft is going to push against. That way, I don't ruin the brushes or the internals or anything like that. Uh, and then we'll press. The pinion gear on like that in the vise. Super glue, essentially plastic glue. <laughs> All right, push that like so. Okay. That's about as far on as it was before. Let me bring it out just a bit. <laughs> just bending it. There we go. All right, she's all back together now, and she appears to be working. Ah, freaking burns. Man, that sounds crusty though, right? <laughs> that 
drivetrain just sounds nasty. Alright, so uh, two out of three done. Now on to battery. So let's see what battery issue looks like. Okay, so plug that in. Green light. Dos blinking green light means uh, charging, according to that little symbol. Alright, and oh, blinking red light means battery damaged, apparently. Not overheat, it looks like. But, uh, well, it's got a battery with a crack through it. So, I'm guessing some bad cells or some undercharged cells. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't have the proper security driver bit for that. Takes one of those ones where you need the hollow in the center. It's a T15 with a security bit. So, I think I'm going to have to go to Menards and get one. Hopefully they have it. Okay, it's been a minute. Went to the store, got what I needed, came back. So with some gentle prying, So we went ahead and isolated uh, these two cells uh, by desoldering those wires. And should get around 3.7. So 3.7, 3.7, and Zippo 0 and 405. So, this is a bad cell. Okay, now these are spot welded in place. So, I mean I can break the spot welds off. Fairly certain of that. Just getting it back on is going to be a, a bear. I don't know if I can do that. I might be able to solder it on. Um, but I guess first question is how much are these cells? It's three ninety nine for a new one. Four bucks. I have a laptop battery. I wonder if that is okay. So it just so happens I had an old laptop that I battery that I disassembled, and yeah, looks close enough. I don't know what its milliamp hour rating is, but it reads 3.7 volts. Looks like it'll fit right in. Can't find any inf a data sheet on this one. Um, but, hey, what do you expect? It's free. Well, I'd call that a success. So here's our bad cell. Here's our replacement cell. So that's going to need to go on there like that.
can't smell the cancer. Alright. Moment of proof in the pudding. Hey, look at that. Booyah. Let's get this thing back together. Okay, so there you have it. That just sounds terrible. Ugh. That's not gonna last too long. This on the other hand, I hand. Bleh. This on the other hand will be just fine. Uh, so yeah, the reason our battery was no bueno was it had a bad cell. Um, it does appear that the balancing and charging circuit for this is working now. Uh, now that it has a good cell in there. So my brother now has two drills, two batteries. Uh, all right, really, just one drill and two batteries. This this is junk. Uh, for for nothing more than $40 uh, on that uh, second-hand store, or that return store, the auction house. And, uh, yeah, I guess, what, two hours of my time tinkering around in here? Plus that bit set to, I had to go buy. But, anyway, uh, it was a fun, fun little adventure. I'm surprised that actually worked, the soldering. We'll see uh, if that holds up long-term. Uh, but given that my brother uh, isn't as crazy as I am, I'm sure it'll last him just 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 long enough and just fine uh, for what he's going to use it for around the house. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming along on this little whirlwind tour as we kind of do it going on a little fixing spree to uh, I don't know save a little money for our fellow man, i.e., my brother. Yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate you, uh, and I'll see you next time.